You know, November is National Family Caregivers Month, and AARP Mississippi is planning a series of events to, uh, you know, that's aimed at states, uh, the uh, state's family caregivers. Well, join us this, uh, from Jackson this morning is the uh, director of AARP in Mississippi, Kimberly Campbell. How are you this morning? Doing well. How are you? I'm doing very well. Thank you very much. Now, um, we're going to talk about a, a very special event that uh, kicks off uh, this month with a Facebook live event it's called Prepare in, uh, to Care. It's at 1 p.m. and this presentation, well, well you, you tell us about it. Yes, yes, so uh, November is National Caregivers Month and uh, caregiving is a really big initiative, of course, for AARP. And so we are kicking off uh, today, as a matter of fact, with the live uh, Facebook uh, event about Prepare to Care. And we'll take you through uh, five steps to prepare to care, you know, things to get ready for, uh, things to prepare for. We, we always like to tell people that if you find yourself in the throes of it immediately, uh, it's a lot harder to get ready. And so we, we try to tell people to start, you know, getting focused, getting prepared when you know that you probably will be the primary caregiver uh, for someone in your family. Uh, we, we'd like for you to uh, be proactive and not reactive. Now, um, you've also planned a uh, Mississippi Cares Givers Conference that's happening tomorrow in yes. Jackson. And I know you're really excited about that. I see a smile on your face. Tell us all about that, if you would. Yes, uh, as you said, that kicks off tomorrow at 10 o'clock a.m. at the Hilton in Jackson. That's off County Line Road. We're very excited. It is our AARP uh, Cares Conference. It's when we celebrate caregivers and and before uh, our event tomorrow uh we've done for about two months uh, we had everyone to make nominations uh for their caregiver and so uh we're going to reward or rather award uh our, we will select our 2022 caregiver of the year and so that person will be surprised uh we'll have some sweet things in store for them but it's just a wonderful time to give respite to caregivers uh to tell them thank you uh, for their work. Uh, here in Mississippi, we roughly have almost 420,000 uh, family caregivers. Uh, wow. And you know, family, yes, that, that's a lot. Uh, you know, and, and caregivers, that is, they provide, you know, uh, uncompensated care. And so, and sometimes to their own uh, financial detriment as well as uh, their own health detriment. And so uh, these are some of the things that we that we advocate for about them taking care of themselves and, and celebrating them and giving them a break. Now, if you can't make it to the event tomorrow, this will be live streamed. Absolutely. It will be live streamed on our Facebook page. Uh, and, and if you ever just want, you know, resources and more directions for caregiver information, you can always go to the AARP.org uh, forward slash caregiving and you can look up information there as well. Now, you mentioned uh, a few minutes ago, Kimberly, that uh, you know, the caregivers are not compensated. I mean, this is what they're doing for their families. What are some of the things that they actually do to take care of these family members that need caregiving? Absolutely, absolutely. You know, well, well first of all, let, let me go through the tips and, and I can break down some of the things that they do. So there are basically five steps uh, to preparing to become a, a first time caregiver. And not only work-wise do I know about these, but I'm also a, a former caregiver. I mm -hmm. was the caregiver for my mother uh, uh, and uh, she uh, transitioned a few years ago now. Uh, but at the time she was going through her fifth battle with cancer. She was almost 81. And wow. so I know these steps very, very uh, intimately. Uh, and, and now my father lives with me, which I love, but dad is great. I mean, my dad is 80 and walks five miles seven days a week. So oh, he's wow. Killing. Yeah. Oh, oh, he's amazing. He's amazing. He's a former coach. And so he's he's always been really, you know, big about healthy living, eating well and staying active. So but but those five steps to preparing uh, to care. One, you got to start the conversation. You know, you've got to have those those deep conversations, you know, sometimes when you start noticing, oh, you know, mom or my husband, you know, something seems to be more than the normal, you know, forgetfulness that we all go through as we age. You know, you start paying attention to that. You start paying attention if there, you see some physical, you know, mobility changes in them. You start paying attention to where there's vision issues, hearing issues. And so you, you begin to start really focusing 
and having those conversations uh, with them and their uh, doctors as well. You know, you need to right. make sure that you are on everything. That is really important. If you're going to be primary caregiver, you need to make sure the doctors have you listed, that they know they've got to have conversations with you uh, as well as, as the person you're caring for. You want to form a team because here, here's where you, you need all the resources. You know, even, uh, you know, siblings or loved ones that are away, they can still be a part of that team. Uh, my brother lives in uh, Pennsylvania. Uh, and he was still very active, you know, whether it was, you know, FaceTiming with with, my, with our mother's doctors and with me, or, you know, electronically trying to help keep up a good schedule, right. uh, and, even, and even helping financially. You know, uh, caregivers, you know, more than likely, uh, you know, look, it, it's great if we have loved ones that, that are, you know, wealthy, <laughs> you know, that that's a blessing. Uh, but most of us here in Mississippi, even if our parents uh, have had insurance and have done well, more than likely the majority of us will still have to help with their care. We'll still have to kick in and help with those prescriptions, those medications, uh, special uh, dietary needs. Um, you know, and it's a blessing for those of us that have also done well. You know, maybe the, the hardship won't be as heavy. Mm -hmm. But there are some where the hardship will really hit them uh, pretty significantly. And so we want to, you know, make sure that they uh, start trying to figure out how can they afford everything. Uh, you know, there's another part to one of the steps about, you know, not only caring for your loved ones by needing to possibly hire some assistance when needed, but that's also a way for you to care for yourself. Right. Uh, you know, when, when you're in the throes of it, you know, uh, we've seen it. Uh, there have been statistics and studies done to where, Sometimes the caregiver will, you know, transition as we. I'm sure so, you know, doing something like that. It's going to take you, right. a, a toll on you yourself. Um, it will to do that, and uh, we got we got about a minute left, so continue. Yeah, many times the caregiver will transition before the one they're caring for, oh, and yes. so we always want to say, take care of yourself, eat, sleep. Keep up with your exercising and your medication. Remember, even as a, as a mother, you can't care for others if you don't care for yourself. Well, we want to go ahead and uh, mention it again. Tomorrow between uh, 10 and 2 at the Hilton Jackson. It's located on um, East County Line Road in Jackson. They have the uh, Cares uh, Givers Conference uh, where people can learn about a whole lot more. If you can't make it, you can go to their, um, uh, their, their Facebook page and they're going to be live streaming it as well. And if you'd like some more information, you can call the numbers on your screen, 877-333-5885 is the number to call on that. So a, a lot of great work being done with AARP, especially helping out those who are into family caregiving. Uh, Kimberly Campbell, so happy to see you again and thank you for joining us on the show this morning. And we will uh, you know, pass this along to everyone and don't forget the big event. And if you need any uh, information, give them a call. They'll be happy to help you out. Thank you.